Xiao, are you sure this new power is... safe? I didn't pin you for such a warrior, Matoy. Like I said, there's no sign that anything's wrong. All the readings are completely normal. There's no indication they've absorbed too much of the F-Factor or anything like that. It's nothing at all like becoming the Profound Darkness. You could even say it's the opposite. But why don't we just ask you? How do you feel? Anything out of the ordinary? Come on. Can you not see what a mess you'll make if you run your mouth now? Keep your damn trap shut. Using this power you took, without completely absorbing it, to manifest a dark falls and use it to fight... It's a lot like Avatar arms. I've never seen a power manifest like that. Why now, all of a sudden? Hmm... Logically speaking, I bet it has something to do with the ephemera. Maybe that interacted with the Guardian's photons to create some new power? But... but aren't the ephemera themselves like fragments of the profound darkness? How could something like that give you power? Sierra, who do you think is the host of the Profound Darkness right now? Oh... Maybe that's why I don't sense anything off about you. I think I agree with Matoy. Your photons are flowing normally after all. Do you feel alright? I'm not surprised that Matoy is worried, really. We'll keep digging and running checks, but for now, I'm just glad you're doing all right. <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, uh... See you later. Hello there. Hmm? Goodbye. Hello there. Hmm. Goodbye. So, the Crimson Fellworms finally back. I apologize for being so helpless and leaving all of this in your hands, Guardian. This isn't the time to worry about something like that, Elise. Let's go over the plan instead. I will form a barrier to hold the Crimson Fellworm down and prepare to seal it once more. It will not be able to move as quickly within the barrier. I need you to take advantage of that and defeat it. This is the Laconia Sword, the blade that pierced the scales of the Crimson Fellworm of Legend. I entrust this blade to you, Guardian. Within the barrier, 
It can duplicate itself to aid you in your fight. The Crimson Fellworm's scales are constantly shifting to hide its scars. However, inside the barrier, you should be able to locate an area of weakness. If you strike that weak point with the Laconium Sword and cut away its scales, its scars will be revealed. In other words, if we expose the scars and then focus our attacks there... Correct. You'll be able to defeat the Horrid Beast. Once it's weakened, we should be able to free the soul inside, even without sealing the Felworm. It's my honor to fight alongside you, Guardian. To my king, to Luther, and Harriet, to the people of Coento, I regret it knows no bounds. How long have I been trapped in this horrible, unending vision? This nightmare, whose dawn would not come. Until you woke me from it at last, Alice. And you, Guardian. You will always have my utmost gratitude for setting me free. A never-ending nightmare? Was Lutz being manipulated by someone? At this point, I've not the faintest idea. But, at least my uncle's soul is finally free from the Crimson Thalmor. He can be at peace at last. I cannot thank you enough for finally ending his torment. However, the Crimson Thalmor has not been banished completely. My blade confirms this. If it was revived with the power of the Ephemera, then as long as that power exists, it could be revived again at any time. I will continue to stand watch here. I imagine it's the best way I can take responsibility for what has happened. Elise, please don't push yourself! <laughs> I know. My power alone amounts to little, after all. And, more importantly, I know I have a shoulder to lean on. In you, Guardian.
Hey there. Hard at work as always, I see. Why don't you try working for once? You're supposed to be training recruits, big bad instructor man. What can I do? Regius and Maria are so gung-ho, I don't have a chance to train anybody. Uh-oh. Did Maria sneak back into the training bureau to get away from general affairs? I'll bet Sarah is furious. S Sierra? Aren't you supposed to be manning the bridge? I'm fine. One thing led to another, and I scored clearance to wander the ship. Now that I think about it, you always call into our command meetings instead of showing up, Sierra. Hmm, what bothers me more is how you suddenly started attending all our meetings. Because you don't take notes. Consider me your bona fide secretary, mister. Hmm. Being here face to face makes you realize things. Like what? Zeno, Echo, why haven't you two gotten married yet? <gasps> see? Everyone's been thinking it. Now that I see you together, it's so obvious. Hold on now. Marriage is... Sierra, this isn't something to just rush into. The way you two act together, you're practically there already. But listen, timing, planning, and commitment are very important when making these kinds of big decisions. What the hell? Want to get married? What? Hmm, you don't want to, Echo? No, 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 no. That's... that's not it. I mean, is that what you want? Getting married to me? Jeez, where'd all your confidence go? Who would I marry other than you? Are you sure you want this? I might end up being a big jerk with your assignments. You already are. Yeah, I guess I am. Okay then, let's go get the papers signed before you change your mind. Sheesh, I don't change my mind that easy. Well, take it easy, you two. Oh, and thanks, Sierra. Oh my gosh, did I just get them into a huge mess? Maybe I did, but never in my wildest dreams did I expect this to happen so quickly. In. I've got breaking news! Recent reports haven't been as accurate as we'd like, but we have a stellar announcement! It's about that couple everyone hoped would hurry up and make a move for so long! You guessed it! Zeno and Echo! They're finally, finally, finally getting married! What? How the heck did you know? Echo already told us, so... yeah. Usually, marriage isn't that newsworthy, but those two are different. Especially with Zeno on the Council of Six. The hottest couple around is finally taking that next step! Telling the world about it makes my job worth it! With Ark so focused on fighting, we tend to forget about family life, so this is pretty significant. Moments like these make you stop and think, someday I'll find that special someone, and oh, I'm super jealous! 
Do you want to get married someday? Of course, I'm an old-fashioned girl. Walking down the aisle's my dream. Potential grooms get grooming. Who exactly are you talking to? Tia acts like she doesn't care, but when she was a young girl, she dreamed of hearing those wedding bells are ringing too. <sighs> that was between us, you jerk! And that concludes another episode of Tia's Innermost Secrets. I'm your host, Patty, signing off. I guess I'd better get going too, so. <sighs> Listen up, dumbass! Tell another soul about that, and you will wish you never knew me! Happening? Oh, I just get chills all over! Uh huh! It's that kind of fairy tale ending that makes everyone toasty inside! I mean, I'd like to get married too someday, but that's a long way down the road. First, I'm gonna work my butt off to win everyone's approval. And then, I'll meet the love of my life. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Going off on a tangent again! Pretend you never heard that. I am 100% dedicated to the hero business, and that's it! Nothing more, nothing less. right? About Zeno and Echo getting married? Do you ever wish you could just meet someone like that? Matoi might get mad if she heard me asking this, but generally speaking... So you do, then. I had a feeling you might. When I heard the news, it seemed like Zeno and Echo were suddenly off in their own world away from us. When I was little, I'd think about it all the time. I mean, what it would be like to spend my life with someone. But I'm kind of a social misfit. I've never had a relationship with anyone, and probably never will. The excuse I always use is that I fight for arcs, so I don't have time for that stuff. But instead of feeling happy for them, I was actually really jealous at first. Isn't that awful of me? Really? So I'm not the only one then. That makes me feel a lot better. But I am really happy for them. It's something to celebrate, since Zeno and Echo have always been there for me. 
Maybe I should use that jealousy as motivation to find the right person. To make me as happy as they are. That special person seems to be in high demand, though. Kinda hurts my chances. I can't do this. Sorry, Echo, but you go tell her. Why does your courage dissolve into thin air at a time like this? Hey, you! What are we up to? Just, you know, spreading the good news. We just told Afin and the toy. We thought they'd be floored by it, but they didn't seem all that surprised. They did wish us well, though. Anyway, we thought it would be polite to tell everyone directly, but... I don't know if it would sit well with her. She goes by Melrandia now. But I still think it's weighing on her. Ooh, we can't just sit back and let someone else tell her, though. This is tough. We just have to suck it up and tell her. It's not like we've done anything wrong, so it's time to be bold. I know, I know. Sheesh. Go on, Echo. Break it to her. No way! We do this together! If Dia sees me, it'll just remind her of Gedimholt. You honestly think we can tell her under those circumstances? Well, it's no different if I go. Think of the awkwardness. <sighs> Sorry, you two. What actually hurts my feelings is watching you go back and forth like that. Whoa! <laughs> Melrandia! How long were you standing there? You were bickering so loudly. I think everyone here noticed. There's something you wanted to tell me? Does it have something to do with you getting married? Oh my gosh, how did you know? I think the real question is, what took you so long? It's about time. It really is. If... Master Gedimholt were here... He'd probably say something along the lines of, Grow a pair, you two. Yeah, that's the first thing he'd say for sure. Then I can totally see Zeno getting all riled up. I know it's impossible for me to get you to stop thinking about Master Gedimholt. So instead, I'll ask you to never forget him. He'll always be with us if we keep him in our hearts. Zeno and Echo. Congratulations on tying the knot. Yeah, thanks, Dia. Thank you, Melrandia. You think I can't hear you? Time to grow a pair, you pansies.
After a bitter struggle, the Guardian had wrested Wayland from the bloody grasp of Emperor Shredder. In Quento, the Crimson Fellworm had been sealed away once more, thanks in large part to the Sword Maiden's valiant effort and Luther's quick thinking. With these looming threats dispelled, the Kingdom of Quento enjoyed a moment of hard-earned rest. In the aftermath of the Crimson Fellworm and Wayland's fall, a single peaceful week passed. Harriet took her place as Cuento's new monarch. She and her retinue convened in the throne room to discuss their next steps. One among them seemed distracted. Any word from the Sword Maiden regarding the Crimson Fellworm? Our army is keeping watch as well. They've reported no problems as of yet. The Sword Maiden herself reports that the seal looks likely to hold for the time being. As for Wayland, true peace seems a long way off. The land is still rife with Castrum Demonicus. But the intermittent conflicts along our border with Wayland have settled down at least. Then let's keep preparing to send them food and resources. Helping the people of Wayland back to their feet should be our top priority. Our own land is far from rich in such resources, my lady. Be that as it may, if we bungle this first approach to them, the consequences will be ours to bear forever. If we scorn them for being from another country, it could spark riots. We must avoid that at all costs. What drivel, Harriet. Don't waste your time pandering to the riffraff of other lands. L Luther, do you know what you're saying? Words of reason, my dear sister. Do you know what will throttle all inklings of resistance? A few executions. Show them blood, and they'll fall in line. Then, we send word that if they stand down, their lives will be spared. No one would dare ignore us after seeing how we laid low the mighty way. Luther! <gasps> I'm sorry. Please, forget I said anything. Very well. We don't want to meddle in Wayland's affairs and risk causing a ruckus. We'll ask them to sort out who will rule. Normally, the late Emperor's younger brother Elmir would succeed the throne. But he has vanished. Luther, what's wrong? <sighs> Is something the matter? I'm not feeling well. Please excuse me and carry on, everyone. Something about him doesn't seem right. He's not usually so... aggressive, is he? Oh, Luther. How did this happen? I didn't create the child just for things to end up like this. Wait. If I could only become all-knowing, then I wouldn't have to stoop to such foolish methods. Why won't you respond, Sion? Are you trying to tell me that it was the only answer there could be? No, 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 no! This is no solution! This is... unacceptable! <sighs> yes... Yes... My knowledge will know no bounds... And then I'll... I'll...
Uh, what's the matter, Luther? You're the one always telling me to knock. Luther... What's wrong? Oh, Harriet... My greatest masterpiece... You don't belong in this place. What are you... That was Harriet's voice, wasn't it? Lady Harriet! Is that... Master... Luther? I'm picking up Dark Falls readings. Could using the ephemera have awakened it in him? <laughs> it's no use. I'll never hand over Harriet. My greatest masterwork. With infinite knowledge is finally mine! S stop No! How could this be? How could Master Luther take Lady Harriet? Right from under our noses! Are you alright, Varuna? I'm not the one we need to worry about. As irksome as it is, we must accept Master Luther's betrayal and deal with it. We must contain word of Her Highness's disappearance. It would shatter the foundations of our entire country if the news spread. We must search for her in absolute secrecy. Understand, Guardian? Right. We know what we saw. It's up to the three of us to do something about it. Do you know where he might have taken her? Master Luther has always guarded his secrets. Her Highness might have known, but I couldn't even begin to guess. However, we may have a trace of his movements. I've received unconfirmed reports that a Castrum Demonica has been summoned to the north of the capital. What's more, they said the fortress was summoned by a winged supernatural being of unknown origin. That points strongly towards one conclusion. So Luther summoned a Castrum Demonica as he fled? As Her Highness's adjutant, I must keep the Kingdom's official tasks running smoothly so her absence goes unnoticed. Can I count on you, Guardian? I am in your debt. So first Elder appears, then Luther transforms. It's like Omega is tracing our own history. Shao, are you sure what's happening on Omega is just a muddle of data from the Akashic Records? The events themselves may be fragmentary, but as a whole, they're deeply interconnected. Something's linking all this together. Something most likely connected to the Photoners. Exactly. It's like we're vicariously experiencing someone's memories of the Photoners. Well, suffice to say, it's... creepy. Well, memories are just a type of data. I do think what we're seeing is all data from the Akashic Records. But, someone or something could be interfering with it in a way that's producing certain tendencies. What you read or who you see before bed can affect what happens in your dreams, right? Maybe it's like that. 
So you think we're seeing events related to the profound darkness because it got mixed up in all this? Yeah, hypothetically at least. We don't really have proof one way or the other. Or maybe we're affecting the outcome too, since you and Sierra are getting involved. Well, in any case, we can't afford to just sit back and watch. Keep on looking into things on Omega, you two. The Guardian hurried to find where Luther had flown off to, with Harriet, his unwilling companion. Each cast from Demonica that was newly summoned in Northern Quento served as a breadcrumb on the trail. Luther's very use of these demonic fortresses proved he was no longer the same Luther the Guardian had met on Omega. Approaching the first cast from Demonica, the Guardian stopped short, gazing on in complete shock as a terribly familiar enemy emerged. Cast from Demonica confirmed, and it looks like Luther's minions have been called in too. I guess we can stop wondering whether Luther was the one who summoned the castle. Well, we can't just leave these things be. And there might be some trace of Luther here. Time to get our hands dirty.
not picking up any more readings from the Castrum Demonica. Maybe we can follow some trace from the summoning. What? What's the matter? Luther? Why won't you tell me where we're going? You'll see. But... I'm supposed to be studying courtly etiquette today, so... You're quite the dedicated student, aren't you? Don't worry, it's just one day off. It'll hardly make a difference. But... Uh, but I made a promise with Mother that I'd keep studying. Every day! What kind of daughter would I be if I couldn't keep that promise? Well, I happen to have my own promise to keep with Mother. And mine involved bringing you here. And on that note, here we are. to bring you to see it. Even your selfish brother couldn't spurn a deathbed request like that. I can see why she loved it. I can imagine her coming here. Royalty has no business crying. We live by the support of the people and support them in turn. We must not show them weaknesses. Understand. But look, do you see anyone else? As long as you're here, you don't need to act brave. For now, the only ones here are you and me, and Mother Spirit watching over us. Mother's spirit? She's always there by your side. This is no tale I'm spinning to try and comfort you, Harriet. It's just the truth. Mother! Mother! I miss you so much! I wish you could hold me. Stroke my cheek again. Tell me how proud you are of me. Those tears aren't in vain. <laughs> no one told me I would have to look after you quite this much. No use complaining, I suppose. clinging from you, and here I was sure you hated me. Don't say that, Luther. I don't hate you at all. It just seems like you're the one who hates everyone. Or maybe it's just that you're not interested in anyone else. Now why would you think that? Because you're just too smart. <laughs> Luther, why are you laughing? Did I see something strange? That was just out of admiration, Harriet. How blind I was not to notice there was such a fascinating person right under my nose. You're beginning to pique my interest. I wonder just how great this potential in you can grow.
Are you all right? Stay with me. Did you see one of Luther's memories? But why would... Could the false bond born from the Castrum de Monica have linked you to Luther's memory? I guess this is the kind of thing that can happen in the Akashic Records. I have a bad feeling about all this. We'd better find Harriet quickly. Good morning, Your Majesty. Where are we? Save your struggling, Harriet. Not to worry. No one will find us here. Soon I'll find a way to do this without needing to use you. Just a little longer. Luther! What are you talking about? What is it you're trying to do? What a foolish question. All I want is to finally reach infinite knowledge. You're not my brother. Who are you? What ever do you mean, Harriet? You know me. I'm Luther. Oh, you're Luther's, aren't you? Looks like this is the place. Luth? Luther? This... this shouldn't work. In theory, it's completely sound. Oh, hello, Harriet. Look at you. Way out here in the hinterlands. Luther, what have you been up to out here? You're not summoning a Castrum de Monica, are you? This looks... different. Castrum de Monica? Please. Those things were mere paving stones on the path of my research. And that path leads... where? Give me your best guess. It would have to be something even more shocking than the Castrum, I suppose. I want to restore beings that have been lost. To summon them back to their original state. With the Ephemera as a catalyst, it should work. They can link us to worlds apart from ours. The rest? Why, it's simply a matter of time. That is... Sending that being spirit and flesh upstream through time to the proper moment. Luther... Are you sure the people will be able to accept that you've done this? Alas, Harriet. I don't share their belief in gods. I believe only in facts and my own potential. Sending beings upstream in time? Not even Arx has that kind of technology. If he was planning to use Ephemera to do it, I'm not surprised Harriet was worried. We better hurry. This little fairy body is starting to get goosebumps.
<laughs> Marvelous, Harriet. I didn't dare hope for this much magic from something so hastily thrown together. This must be the catalyst at work. Or could something about the soul itself be the key? Oh, Harriet! What troves of precious data you've brought me! What finer a guinea pig could a researcher want? What are you trying to do, Luther? Out with it! I'm making a fresh start, so I can succeed where I once failed. The time is finally ripe. At long last, I have the ability to see this through. And then, then, at last, it will be mine. Infinite knowledge. Omniscience. Omni... Wait, what am I? been doing all this time my dear harriet the only person who understood me i Luther, no! <laughs> of course why should I hesitate? I will summon the lost Akashic Records! Knowledge of the entire universe will be mine! Now is the time. Here is the place. I just need to harness the power of the Ephemera and perform the conjuration properly. I will know it once more. All that is, was, and ever will be. You see, Harriet, won't it be wonderful? You speak of a line we were never meant to cross. Try as you might, Luther. You'll never succeed. What? Have you already forgotten, Luther? When the proof is right here, chained up before you! There you are, Harriet. You weren't followed. It'd be hell to pay if Father found this place. Father's furious. He says we're shirking our responsibilities. I had to try and calm him down myself. <sighs> Have a heart for your sister, Luther. <laughs> I'm surprised he hasn't realized it's a waste of time entrusting his errant son with royal duties. An utter waste of my time. Leaving petty things aside, you asked me why I called you here, yes? Well, I finally found the next step beyond conjuration. Summoning beings upstream or downstream through time. Quantum conjuration. And your plan is to follow through with this... quantum conjuration? Of course. What would my years of research have been for if I didn't bring this to fruition? I'm going to finally understand how this world began. Dear sister, I'm going to summon the primordial being. I'll know all there was to know! Doesn't the idea just tantalize you? Harriet! Harriet! Damn it, wake up! Stay with me! It's all my fault! I conjured that! That awful thing! If someone has to die here, it should be me! Please, Harriet! Don't die! Not you! Anyone but you! Come back to me! What did you see this time? Luther was crying and cradling Harriet? And 
she was dead? Wait, but Harriet's still alive. I mean, that's who we're going to save. But if what you saw really happened, and Harriet did die, then... Who, or what, is the Harriet we all know? Pieces are all in place. It's time to perform the quantum conjuration. Just think. You'll be reborn at last as an almighty being. What's wrong? There's nothing to fear. This isn't death. It's a new beginning. You'll play host for something far greater. Its soul will keep yours company in that body. And with your help, at last, infinite knowledge will be mine! And then what, Luther? That's who you even are. What do you see when all of that is said and done? Are you questioning a scientist on the value of his work? If my life is the cost of helping save our people, or perhaps even the world, then you can have it. I'll give it gladly. But you seem to have something else in mind, so I think I'll choose to die for something far greater. My entire existence, the reason blood pumps through my veins, is so I can fight for those who cannot fight for themselves. And as the one who brought me here for that very purpose, you should know better, Luther. Brought you here, but that can't be. I saw you. You were right here, Harriet. You were laying right here. Trying to thwart me just once didn't satisfy you?
ignore those things, he'll just keep conjuring new ones. Focus on stopping Luther. Wait, Harriet! Luther. The Fallen, was it? If you're planning to use all that wisdom and power for your own selfish ends, instead of for the people of our land, then I will stop you. That is my duty, as the Queen of Quinto, and as your sister! <laughs> to me without flinching if you bear that determination proudly on your sleeve you'll be able to purge the ephemera Luther it's you oh, thank goodness I knew you would finally come back to your senses Jest, Harriet. As if there's been a single moment in my entire life where I behaved like a sensible person. Oh, Luther, what possibly possessed you to do this? When I stopped the Crimson Fellworm, I knew this might be a consequence. The ephemera, they consume your very mind. As I'm sure Lutz discovered. If that had to be the outcome, I hoped at least to help build a foundation for our country, for your rule. Harriet, you did the right thing. You held firm and brought judgment down on those who violated the ban and threw our land into chaos. Even your own flesh and blood. Luther, please. My ego certainly made a lot of trouble for you. Please, let me ask you one favor. Look after my sister. Stay by her side. <laughs> my sister? That's rather a smug way to put it, wouldn't you say? Please spare me the trifling questions. There's just one Luther. Whatever versions of me you know, they are me. Which is to say, the desire to protect that girl was something within me all along. I just so happen to be fed up with being stuck in Gemini, and with the profound darkness too. I have no qualms with lending you my power. I won't play teacher. Just use it well. Do that, and I imagine you'll glimpse the cruelty of reality, of that ancient despair.
carry at. Remember this. You are a real person. I will. I'll remember, Luther. Confirm the signal. It's definitely Luther the Fallen. Did the traces it left behind in this world take shape like they did with Elder? Yes and no. The presence of those traces influenced the Akashic Records' memories, causing this to materialize. Its abilities are just as you remember as well. I can attest to its strength. Though, as I recall, you had no trouble defeating this before. Here it comes! You actually had words with Luther? And he said he'd lend you his power? Do you feel physically alright? Oh my. Is the ultimate being hoping I'll wield my influence? <laughs> she needn't worry. I'm content to keep quiet. For now. My only interest is this place I'm currently occupying. I have no intention of getting involved in other trifling matters. So why don't you just act natural? It wouldn't help either of us if things suddenly got complicated. What's wrong? Your face has turned quite a strange color. Are you really all right? Well, if you say so. I'm just worried about Luther's power getting cozy in there. So now you've got Luther's power in there too. But nothing about you looks different, statistically speaking. No increase in F-factor. It's the same as Elder. No urgent issues as far as we can tell. As for your abilities, we'll keep them under observation. But our priority needs to be Omega. Listen, I know Luther sacrificed himself to drain the ephemera from the Crimson Fellworm, but even so... I understand why you have your doubts, Matoy, but I promise it's true. The Luther from Omega had a bit of a sharp tongue, but he was a good brother at least, right? Well, Omega is just a replay of the memories in the Akashic Records after all. Maybe the Luther you met there was like the one we knew, back before we'd ever met him. The pre-Luther Luther, if you will. Well, I guess that would fit in with what Euclida once told us. Apparently, when she was apprentice, even her mind wasn't fully her own. We know Luther wanted to control the Dark Falls' power, but maybe he was the one getting controlled instead. But there's no way we can actually confirm that. Then even if we could, it wouldn't excuse what he's done. But there's one thing that still bothers me. In those visions of Harriet's and Luther's past... Ah, Harriet's death, yes. If Luther was involved in that, well, there must be a deep, dark secret hidden somewhere. Let's try asking Harriet more about it once she's had time to collect herself more. <laughs> 